Hi everybody, I'm Evan Pollock from ExperienceDrums.com and I want to make a small observation that I think will have big repercussions for your drum set playing. Did you know that wherever you go you always have two friends who are there to help you play that drum set? You're, you're looking around you're saying, where are the friends? What are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about him and him. Your drumsticks, that's right. Usually if you're a drum set player, you're usually playing with some kind of stick, right? And so we're going to be talking about how to hold these babies so you can unlock their potential. I want to show you something about potential right now. Here's a stick. I have it in my hands. I want to do a little example for you. Watch this. Now, you're saying to yourself out there, big deal. What's the big deal of that? Well, let's look a little closer at this movement. What I'm doing is I'm turning my wrist backwards and down, then this way, then this way. If you I'm opening my fingers. I'm not even holding the stick and the stick is going in the direction my wrist is going. That's fantastic for you to know because that means this guy will help you do the work. You want that because you want to be more fluid, you want to have more energy to be creative. This is going to help you. You're not going to play opening up your hand, but you do see that the stick has energy inside to go the direction you want it to. So, in the next bunch of segments, what we'll be doing is talking about how to hold sticks and how to unlock the potential. So, what I want you all to do right now is go out there, go get a pair of sticks, right? Come back and join me, and then we'll start doing some experiments together. You don't, you, you should really get a pair of sticks. Hey, thanks for coming back and joining me. I know you all have sticks in your hands right now. That's fantastic. You're holding those sticks. I can see them. I know you are. And what I want you to do with those sticks that you have in your hands is take them and, and put them on the ground because we're not going to use them just yet. I know. Don't worry, you're drummers. We are going to use them in a second. Okay. I want to talk to you about how to hold the sticks relaxed. Okay. So I want to use my left hand right now because it means that this camera angle can catch all the fine setup that's going into this. So here we go. What I want you guys to do is you're holding your hand just like this, palm down, thumb on the side, these fingers are gently curved and relaxed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my thumb and I'm going to touch my thumb to the first joint of the index finger. When I do that, it makes this index finger point towards earth. Okay. These are the fingers, don't stay doing nothing. I'm going to bend them at the middle knuckles. These three knuckles right there. I bend my middle knuckles. And that is all you have to do to hold the stick. It allows me, like my friend Marshall Maley is a great teacher, it allows me, like he says, to just knock on the door. Okay. If I was like this, squeezing those back fingers against my palm, let's see what happens. No one can really move their wrists very easily. You're having a lot of tension in there. So we want to avoid squeezing. Let's do it again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my hand just like this, palm down, thumb on the side. These four fingers are relaxed and gently curved. I want you guys to join with me, okay? You're going to take your thumb. Then you're going to touch your thumb to your first joint of your index finger. Just like this. That's the first line that's right there on your index finger. Makes you kind of pull your index finger in just slightly. You have these three fingers left, just bend the middle knuckles. You don't have to do anything like squeezing, just bend them. And if you notice, there's a hole right there, just like before. We want that, we want that hole. It allows me to just turn up and down like this. Okay, one more time, third time's the charm. Okay, here's my hand, it's relaxed, palm down, thumb on the side, these fingers are relaxed. I'm going to take my thumb, touch it to the first joint of my index finger. I have these three fingers right there, and I'm going to bend from the middle knuckle, and now I'm just going to wave my wrist. Folks, that's all you're going to need to do to start the journey of setting up your hand to hold the stick. Okay. I know you're ready to use these guys. I know you're ready to use your sticks. I just sent you on a journey before to get them. Now we're going to use them. And 
Before we go any further, I want to talk to you about how happy I am to be part of the Vic Firth Education Team. They're a great company. They support all of percussion, and they really love teachers, and they love teaching people about teaching and about playing drums. The other thing I love about Vic Firth is that the guy has a great name. And Vic Firth is spelled V-I-C-F-I-R-T-H. And where the T-H always lands on a Vic Firth stick is one-third from the bottom. It's the perfect place to put your thumb, T-H, for thumb. I don't know if it's dumb luck. I haven't asked them that. But I will tell you, for me, I usually put my thumb right on the T-H of the Vic Firth. So it's a great place to be because you want your stick to be two-thirds top-heavy. And this is how the stick's weight will operate. You're going to swing your stick down. The weight goes down, and that weight will then careen your wrist back up again. And we'll get to that in a minute. But let's just say that you play a <clears throat> another brand <clears throat> of stick, which is fine, totally fine. Um, if you do, then I recommend setting your hand up like this, okay? You have your thumb like this, and your index finger pointing straight. And what you're going to do, you take your thumb and put him at the very bottom of the stick, and just real gently stick your index finger out. You'll find that your index finger goes out no matter how old you are, how young you are, whether you're a teacher, a professional, a student, it usually goes out about a third. And it's a perfect place to start experimenting with where does it feel really well on the stick to like hold it. So um, I would recommend anybody who doesn't play Vic for a stick to try that experiment and you'll find it's about a third from the Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about sticking the stick into your hand. So I'm going to take the stick and put him down. I'm going to hold my hand out like this. And what we did before was we had my thumb touch my index finger at the first joint. These three fingers, they're nice and relaxed. And I just gently bend the middle knuckles. What I'm going to do now is do the same thing, only I'm going to stick the stick underneath my palm. And I think it's a great idea for you guys to practice this. So here I am, I'm going to stick the stick underneath my palm. My thumb is approximately a third from the bottom. And then I'm going to touch the first joint of my first finger. And then I'm going to take these three fingers, and I'm going to do just what I did before, bend the middle knuckles. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how to hold the stick. If you look, there's a hole right there. And if you look this way, there's wood. You can see the wood. Nothing is clenching, clenching like this. Everything is nice and relaxed. You could have, for right now, you could have the butt of the stick back against your palm. That's totally okay. Let's do it again, and hopefully we can do it together. What we're doing here is we have our hand. If you're righty, you do it with the right hand. Lefty, you do it with your left hand. I'm just, again, choosing my left hand because of the camera angle. Okay, my hand's like this. I stick the stick. I got my thumb on the TH of the Vic Firth stick. I want to touch it to the first joint of my index finger. My index finger points down. These three fingers, they're just gently going to bend from the middle knuckle. And ladies and gentlemen, there it is again. A nice, relaxed, open, relaxed grip. I can just wave. I can eventually use my fingers. It's a beautiful feeling. One more time, okay? Here's my hand. I pick my stick up with the opposite hand, and I put my thumb a third from the bottom, touch it to the first joint of my index finger, that's that first line on your index finger, take these three fingers, just touch them to the stick, those three knuckles bend, that's it, that's it.